New polling figures show Americans are rejecting a weeks-long White House campaign for U.S. military strikes against Syria. Across party lines, 61% of Americans surveyed say they want Congress to vote against authorizing military strikes. Just 26% are in favor. I think that America needs to stop getting into other people's business and causing a war that's mainly unneeded. President Barack Obama is blaming Syrian President Bashar Assad's regime for a chemical weapon attack that the U.S. government says killed 1,400. It's very difficult for a president to persuade people when they've already made up their mind against some type of foreign intervention. The public mood is tired of Mideast wars after a dozen years of military action in Iraq and Afghanistan. People in the Middle East would see that as another um, attempt of the U.S. to take control over them, even though that's not the case. I don't think we should right now because we have way too many domestic problems that we should sort out before we are to go abroad and try to meddle in somebody else's business. The president needs to build on his limited support. Well, I do support the president in this endeavor. It's a travesty what's happening over in Syria, and uh, I think we need to take some type of action. Hopefully he's able to uh, educate us more on what's going on, and that way we can make a better decision as far as, you know, backing him. The president hopes his televised address Tuesday will drive up support. What are his objectives? What are his goals? How is he actually going to do this? I think he has to be clearer than he has been to date. Warnings that inaction would risk national security and ignore a gruesome humanitarian crisis are mostly falling on deaf ears. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.